Hey guys, what's up? Lone Berserker here, and I'm showing a three versus three. I'm playing as Masazali. My allies are the Rock Solani and the Lusitani. We're going up against Galatia, um, Sparta, and Macedon. So my army is a Nubian spear, two armored Nubian spears, three tribal slingers, three light infantry, four desert legionnaires, three armored Nubian riders, two armored Nubian cav, and a armored Nubian noble cav. So Glacia, I was gonna go right for Glacia, but instead Glacia goes in between the gaps. So I'm gonna have to turn here in a second. And you can see the rest of my, or these troops right here coming up. And this is where I turn. I have to get up here as qu quickly as possible. He can't see any of these troops, by the way. So this is probably why he's doing that. And this is when I take my cavalry out to get up there as fast as possible. And then these two just tried to bomb ru rush Macedon, which was a good idea, but they kind of fail at that. And then the Rock Solani decide to send some troops to me. So I'm going to push these um, tro first troops back with my armor Numenian riders, and I'm bringing up the rest of my troops back here. I do make a mistake here. Um, he gets my gla or gets his Glacian Spears. I don't know what I was doing here. I don't think I was paying attention, actually. And he nails this unit. It's down to 61, and he misses there, and he pops both his um, abilities there, which is he uses the, um, uh, what's it called? The, um... Hold on. The, I think it's the Barbarian General or something. Or the Intimidate General. I can't remember. Um, so you can see I'm lining my troops up here. I got my cavalry on my wing. And I see that I can pretty much take out all his troops here. If my ally, if I hold him here, my ally needs to come in and hit his rear. But um, the Spart Sparta is right there. And I bring my troops back, and I brought them too far back. I wasn't really microing that good in this battle, and so I bring them back up, but I was trying to stay out of range of his Galatian Spears. This is when he brings up his Galatian Spears. Oh yeah, he's bringing up his Galatian Spears because of my cavalry. And he's bringing up his Galatian Legionnaires, and same thing over here. So I'm going to throw forward a my, or my Numidian um, Spearman here. He's going to get wrecked by the um, Legionnaire, but that's fine. He already lost 20. I am ripping apart his skirmishers here. I'm throwing in my armored Nubian spearmen, which will hold against these Glacian Legionnaires for a very long time. You can see that unit there is breaking. Um, these guys haven't even engaged yet. My cavalry is coming to the flank here. My desert legionnaires are trying to fight his troops here. He's running away. Um, so I'm bringing up my legionnaires and light infantry to try to support that. I will hit his um, legionnaire on the flank in a minute. I'm trying to form up here as best as possible. These guys are trying to get in a square, but this is their square. My units in the back aren't doing anything. I am kind of winning this fight. I'm trying to get rid of Assyrian archers. I'm throwing forward a light infantry in two places here. This is when I focus fire his um, Syrian archer. I'm going through the middle to get his naked swords before they can get their charge off, so that's a win for me. And that is a legionnaire, so I will win there. And this is just a mix of troops here. My ally is trying to support me. I'm not microing well here again, so my troops get hit again by a javelin volley. He brings up his other units here, his Cappadocians and horse skirmishers, and one glacian raider, or rider. You can see I'm trying to get into the back of these units, and I see this Tarantine cavalry. So I'm gonna, I think I go for a charge here, or I just throw javelins at it. <laughs> I guess I don't. Um, I turn these guys away. They barely miss the Glacian Legionnaire Javelin Volley, but that will aid them in this fight. Over here, I am not winning, actually. I thought I was. I think I am. Yeah, I'm winning over here and over here. Um, I'm trying to get my cavalry into a better position. That's why you see me um, fumble them a bit here. I think... Now, I miss the charge here. Because I, once again, I wasn't really paying attention, so I pulled him out there at the last second. He nails a rear charge on me with his Cappadocians. So I try to pull a few units out to um, get a Javelin Volley on him, which I fail to do here. And I'm trying to get the rest of my cavalry around once again. 
I'm still trying to be a Syrian archers, but he's get so he always brings this person's the same person by the way that plays Glacia. I think I've played him before. He brings the exact same army and he doesn't play any other faction. And that's he just brings a bunch of skirmishers basically and you'll see him run from these fights in a little bit here once he realizes that he's losing. Um I am winning over here by the way. The naked warriors will never win against a legionnaire. I catch his Cappadocian here. Or I try to catch his Cappadocian. I thought I did. No, I'm going for his general now. My cavalry was trying to get to his skirmishes, but I said screw it. I'm gonna pull him back now. This is, it was just getting ridiculous at that point. Um, I am trying to win over here and here, and just hold on this flank. But I'm going to lose there. Over here, if I can win with my ally support, I think I can win this battle. But Sparta wasn't doing anything. He just threw his pikemen up and sat there. My allies are not doing that good against the um, Macedonian player. They're getting destroyed, actually, because of this pike line here. They can't get through that. Um, and my allies got Cav literally running everywhere. He's got a bunch of horse archers. I am sorry for the lag, by the way. Um, over here, I have got his general, but I'm taking a bunch of casualties. This is when I rear charge the Glacian Spear, which seems kind of dumb, but it was worth it in the end. And I'm throwing in a lot of my cavalry to get rid of his general at this point. And this is, I think, when he starts to do it. Or maybe not. Um, I had the wrong general selected, but I used Raise the Banner. I usually don't like that general. Where is my general? Oh, he's up here. No, wait. Where did he go? He's right here. So he's in the back of these units. He's just trying to clear up some skirmishers, but there's Periorkoi um, spears coming. You can see I'm trying to kill his general, but I guess it takes a lot longer than I thought. I am going to get rid of his Glacian spear here, but he's getting tons of kills with the skirmishers. This was a big mistake for me. I don't know why what he's doing with this unit. He needs to bring it around and start shooting me from the flank. My ally finally reinforces me when I pretty much just lost my cavalry there at that point. Uh, my general is just running amok back here pretty much, trying to get kills wherever he can. I will soon break through here, I'm winning over here, and I'm kind of winning over here, it's close. Same thing over here, it's very close actually. Over here he's gonna beat me, but it's taking him a long time to beat me there. That was my plan pretty much with that unit. Um, you can see, he just keeps shooting me. I've lost the majority of my cavalry at this point. I mean, I've still got, like, well, 16. There's 77 there and 18 there, but... And there's 38 here, but... This unit just, I think, sacrifices itself trying to fight a Glacian Raider, which I didn't know was a Glacian Raider at the time. I thought it was a horse skirmisher, so I thought I could beat it. Um, my general's still... Or he's getting caught now. I'm trying to get him out. I'm gonna go for the Cretans once I realize that I'm dead at this point. Um, I had quick reload on just to, once again, try to get some kills, and then I realized these are Gorgo gor 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 skirmishers. I will get the back of them. Um, I can't tell if my general died yet. No, he hasn't. Um, you can see I begin to win here. And when I realized that, I think I looked over here at this um, point, and I'm like, what is going on? They're getting destroyed. There's two of them. And I think pretty much what just happened is they threw their units away, just running into the sky. And this guy, the Lusitani, brought, I think, a bit too much cav, or spears, but he didn't use his army correctly there. And you can see Spartan is just lining up in the middle. So, um, at this point, not much is really happening. I'm trying to clean up here, and this is when this guy sees that he's losing, and he's just going to run to Sparta for cover, and I think he does it with the rest of his units here. Because, I don't know, he does it in a minute here. You can see I would have eventually broken through there. Over here, I would have lost. And then this is when he starts running. So he pulls this unit away, which was the dumbest thing you could have done. And this is what I don't understand about players like this. Why would you disengage here? You were about to win. You did a bunch of damage. You could have done more. And you're turning your back to horse archers. What are you, what are you doing? And he, this is the... I'm saying this again because I'm calling this person out. His name's Braveheart, by the way, if you've seen it before. He plays the same army, the same faction, and he runs from his battle when he realizes that he's losing. Which I find ridiculous. 
and then he runs up his skirmishers like he's going to shoot the horse archers while I'm chasing his army. And this is when I activate my cab because I was actually pretty mad at this point. I'm like, I'm not letting this guy get away from me. So I grab his units here with my cavalry and he begins to drop. And over here I catch his skirmishers and stuff and his other legionnaire. I broke a full Glacian legionnaire because he was running away. That's the ridiculousness in this guy. He, he'll sacrifice anything to get, um, get away from the fight. I am going to sacrifice this... Oh, no, that's not a spear unit. Um, I am just trying to clean up a bunch of these Celtic Slingers and stuff. I'll hold him here with my light infantry for a while. And I got an army to be in spear here. So, he still has this unit and this unit. Sparta is now coming in. So, at this moment, I was like, I'm dead at this point. I've done all I can. I'll line my troops up just for a final stand at this point. And I'm getting hit by my own... My ally, by the way. Because... And then, look, he engage, disengages here, and his unit starts wavering. And I go for another charge here. Yeah, and he loses another Glacian Legionnaire. And then we start swarming this Glacian Legionnaire, but there is a Perioikoi there. I think I just threw that unit away at that minute, moment. Um, but he's got a few units left. Uh, Sparta's now coming in, like I said. And there's no way I'm going to beat Royal Spartans. There's just no way... Um, Draco was activated, but my, um, teammate didn't use it correctly. I will shred the Periokoi Spears, unless he puts them in square, which he does. Um, I think I, yeah, I get around them, which was pretty good, and I go for the horses, actually. And I've got these units who will support, I run this unit around. So I was just trying to get around them at the point. And you can see my allies just shredding this Galatian Legionnaire, it's such a waste of a unit. So pretty much just sacrifice a unit like that. So you can see at this point, um, I'm dead. <laughs> so I've pretty much lost my battle at this point. Or er, I won my battle, and I'm losing this one. So I'm going to throw my light infantry in just to kill as many Royal Spartans as possible. I do sneak through with this Legionnaire, and I will hit the Royal Spartan from behind. I should have waited though for the javelin volley a bit longer because they missed their javelin volley. My ally will shoot them in the flank, which is a pretty good move. Um, I will beat once again. I'll beat the parry quite pretty easily, and I got some more reserve troops back here. But uh, and then my allies. At this point, you can. There's no hope for us um, really with Sparta with and his parry So. I'll try to speed it up, but I think it's going to lag. Yeah. There, yeah, that's better. So I'll speed it up a little bit. Um, eventually, Sparta just pike boxes, which was a good move at this point. Because um, there was nothing we could really do. I mean, you'll see what happens. So you can see that Periokoi spear did end up breaking. Um, this unit is engaged with this general, which is a Heroes of Sparta, which is almost unkillable in some situations. I was trying to get around him at this point, which was pretty funny, but then I just turned and fought. There isn't much point in running from a fight. And I'm just sitting back there fighting him with my Numidian spearmen, which did pretty good actually, but they begin to waver just due to casualties. Um, he gets a nice volley into the rear of him, but he wouldn't... S this is the problem with horse archers, and it really makes me mad as horse archer spam. It's not... You're not helping your team at all. You're helping yourself, pretty much, because you just want to get kills. And... I mean, some people try to use them, and they try to help their teammates, but in a 3v3, it's utterly useless. So, that's that, I guess. <laughs> You can see Mastodon is in the end beaten, and I don't think there's that much left except for the shooting to death of Mastodon. Or we don't win, we lose, but uh, Mastodon does get shot a lot. I was trying to keep this unit alive just to keep army losses up, but then I said screw it again. Um, 
I'm just gonna try to get some few a few kills on the Royal Spartan, which is almost impossible with this unit here at this low of numbers. You can see I didn't even kill one guy. Yeah, I don't even kill one guy. And you can see now Spark is just gonna pike box, which is a really good idea actually. And I I think anyone would have done it in this situation. He his allies are dead. He's the last alive. Um, I think what he could have done better is support. Um, Glacia or support Macedon actually and then come over and finish me off because um, Rock the Rock Solani had more horse archers over here and so if he would have supported Macedon they could have beat the horse archers and ended it and came over to me and ended it so you can see my allies are trying to get their troops I can't move my screen at all So you can see what's happening pretty much. Macedon is just going to move, or not Macedon, Sparta is just going to move into a better position and sit there. So not much is happening. Um, I might make a cut. I don't know if I'm gonna though. So you can see uh, Rock Solani now begins to surround and the Lusitani bring up their skirmishers here. <laughs> and they're trying to shoot the general down, which is a pretty good idea. Um, this guy just runs up this Iberian cav for no reason. So Sparta's general is down to 102, so he's taking casualties, but they're not fast enough. Um, you can see, like, random Lusitani units, like a Lusitani noble is trying to break through a royal Spartan. It's not going to happen, um, especially at this point right now. You can He's going to try to outflank him, which was I guess a good idea but he's not gonna be able to um, and other troops are coming up here to try to break through but at this point like there's no point in even trying and I think this is the giant charge here yeah or no not yet he was gonna go for a charge but he doesn't I think he does yeah now he does so he's just gonna go for a massive suicide charge which I think was the best bet. There was no hope in us ever winning this at this point. Um, he didn't really have much ammo left. He used it on uh, helping us. Which, again, you can't really use horse archers. You might as well bring archers. They're, they got more ammo than horse archers. And so, you might as well just play as like Parthia or something. And just bring a bunch of elite Persian archers. Because... It's better than bringing the horse archers, and more effective actually. I find it more effective at least. Um, they did get a bunch of kills there actually, in killing the skirmishers and stuff. But it's not enough, there's too many spearmen. The Spartan spearmen are just going to crush everything at this point. Um, with cavalry, it's you might as well not even try to kill Spartans with them. And then I think they just go for... I don't even know what they do at this point. He's just dancing around him. He's trying to find um, points to hammer an anvil at. And I think the Lusitani general dies at this point. I think it's him. Yeah, the Lusitani general dies at this point.
here we go. So, yeah, there's not much left there. It was a pretty fun battle, but we were defeated in the end. It didn't surprise me, though, in the situation we were in with the Roxolani as our ally. I feel like this the horse factions in this game needed a severe buff. Um, they have Draco, but that's not going to help them. Or it's it's going to help them, but it's not enough. And they need to stop the horse archer spam because it's ridiculous. <laughs> At least go with some melee cavalry. Like, 15 horse archers and 5 melee cavalry is just ridiculous. Alright, so at this point, it's over. Oh, there. So, yeah. It was a costly enemy victory. You can see the kills and results there. Um, the guy playing the Roxolani did it very well. Um, you can see a lot of my Legionnaires and infantry did good. Skirmishers, but not Cavalry. Um, this guy's General did good. Cavalry did good. Skirmishers did pretty good. Other units doing pretty good. <laughs> And this guy did great, but again, I'd rather have archers. They can get more kills, and there's more men of them. There's more men. Glacia, um, I'm not even going to go through his army. You can see it there. Joey Allison did pretty good at holding off our allies and getting a bunch of kills with his Rodians there. <laughs> Same with Calvary. Um, Sparta... He did well, but in a way he didn't, like, he didn't really support his allies until after. I think if he had supported his allies a bit quicker, he, they would have won faster. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you next time, and bye.